I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the Lifestyle Blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make a baked sweet potato with cinnamon and brown sugar. Such a delicious pairing. So I have everything that we're going to need all laid out here. I have our sweet potato, um, which you'll notice is perhaps a little bit lighter in color, a little bit paler than what you're used to seeing, but sometimes the sweet potato and the garnet yam are mistaken for each other. So when you see something that has that more like deep orange color um, and the really like ruby flesh, that's actually a garnet yam. This is the true little sweet potato. So maybe a bit paler than you're used to seeing. Um, please note that you can, if you can't, you know, for some reason come across a sweet potato, you could use a garnet yam um, in this recipe um, for a substitution. So I have this, it's been all washed, scrubbed, ready to go. However, please note I do still have my peel on. I'm going to leave the peel on. I also have one tablespoon of unsalted butter. I have one teaspoon of brown sugar. And I have a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now over here I have my tin foil. That's what we're gonna bake our sweet potato in. And then right here I have a little fork because that's what we're going to use to pierce the sweet potato. Um, we don't want the sweet potato to explode all over our oven, um, so we are going to create a little space for the steam to escape. So we are going to really like press in. See my tines have gone in about a quarter of the way. And we are just going to pierce this little guy sort of randomly, um, equally all over its little sweet potato self. So I could use some muscle here. Um, Cause you don't want to just do tiny little like beep, that's not gonna really help anybody out, right? We really want the steam to have a place to go. So I would say between six to 10 nice good piercings depending upon the size. If you have a ginormous sweet potato, you may wanna do even more. Okay, beautiful. Now I am going to wrap the sweet potato. And please note that the oven in back of me has preheated to 400 degrees. So that's what we're gonna cook this sweet potato at. And we're gonna bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes until it's fork tender. Um, and by fork tender, I mean nothing like what you just experienced here. You'll just be able to poop, insert it, will go right in nice and soft, just the way you wanna eat it, that's fork tender. So let's wrap it now in our foil. And I'm just gonna gently roll it here and then just sort of seal the edges. Perfect. Now it's ready to go in the oven. Uh, we're gonna check in at 35 minutes and see how we're doing. Okay, so it's been 40 minutes and my sweet potato is all ready to go. I have it here, let's unwrap it. It's still really hot, so I'm gonna be careful with my fingers. All right, look at that gorgeousness. Okay, here we go. It smells so delicious. You get that kind of sweet, sugary, caramelly scent. But what's interesting, even though it has more flavor, um, and that yummy, sweet, sugary scent, um, more so than the white potato. The sweet potato is actually more nutritious than the white potato. First of all, it's a complex carbohydrate versus the white potato, which is simple. Um, being a complex carb means that it breaks down more slowly um, and therefore regulates your blood sugar and you don't have those spikes and drops like you would with a simple carbohydrate. It's also packed with vitamin A and vitamin E. So great nutritious alternative to the white potato. So I'm gonna show you how to open it now. Um, you could certainly eat it as is, or you can mash it, do whatever you want. But if you're gonna eat this like in regular old baked potato style and maybe add some yummy toppings, here's a little trick for how to do it. This is actually Alton Brown's baked potato opening um, technique. So using your fork, you're going to insert the tines lengthwise all the way through. You're gonna go through about halfway. You don't wanna go all the way to the other side and you certainly don't wanna pierce the skin on the other side, just like this. And then you're gonna press the two ends together and it will just kind of crack open. Just make sure, here we go, beautiful. Poppity pop, pop, pop. Okay, now that it's beautifully open, it's time to add the ingredients. So we are going to start by just putting our cinnamon in with our brown sugar, just giving that a nice little mixy mixy. We're gonna make a delicious little cinnamon brown sugar, yummy little crumbleness. And let's spoon that in. So good. Cinnamon and sugar and sweet potatoes, I tell you. Unbelievable. You can also take your spoon and just make little like cuts here, little indents, so the, the cinnamon and sugar has even like more places to get into. So totally delicious. And now let's add our butter. And remember, it's really important that you do this right after it comes out of the oven, because um, you're, you're using the heat of the potato to melt the butter, get it all nice and soft, and we're just gonna kind of mush it in. So sweet, such a nice 
yummy little treat. Look at all that melty, delicious, cinnamony sugar goodness. That's how you bake a sweet potato with cinnamon and brown sugar. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at request at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.